हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज कशिश मेहंदी लता वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर सी प्लस प्लस एस सीरीज एंड इन अवर लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द सेट एंड अनऑर्डर्ड सेट एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टू रिमेनिंग टाइप्स ऑफ सेट इन सी प्लस प्लस एस टी एल सो बेसिकली देर आर फोर टाइप्स ऑफ सेट इन सी प्लस प्लस एस टी एल सो ए सिंपल सेट मीन्स ए सेट हैविंग यूनिक एलिमेंट्स एंड द डाटा इज सॉर्टेड एंड and the second type of set is the unordered set in this set the elements are unique but the data we get is random for example if we have inserted 2 uh, 3 4 even if we have inserted in sorted order then the set might look like 3 2 3 1 3 2 and 4 so means data is not sorted and we can't say that which element would be first in the unordered set and which element would be last and the next is the multi set so the difference between set and multi set is that in a set duplicate elements are not allowed but in a multi set duplicate elements are allowed so if i inserted a element two times in a set so that would be inserted just one time so for example i am inserting two times 12 so only one 12 would be inserted but if in multi set i am inserting two times 12 then two times 12 would be inserted and also the data in multi set is sorted as that of set and next comes the unordered multi set and in this the elements are in random order and duplicates are also allowed so we will be covering multi set and unordered set in this video in this video what i have did is that as i have already covered set so the multi set has same functionality means everything is same but just it allows the duplicates so i have did a side by side comparison i have created if some method with the set i have created the same method with the set so that you can understand that all the functionality is same but just how they treat the duplicate is just different then in the end i will be discussing about the unordered multi set so let's jump into that so i have created these functions before recording this video so that we can save the time and i have created this because we have to create both set and multi set to understand multi set and okay so coming upon i have included hash include bits uh, slash std c++ dot at so that we don't need to have worry about any header files i have a method to print the set so i just take a set as a input and using the for loop i have printed the set and similarly i have a method to print the multi set so i will be minimizing that functions okay so i have created one function to insert some random values in a set so what it do it's just it does nothing but just insert some elements into the set so i have passed here by reference because i want that to be reflected in my main function so to insert a function in a set we just have to pass what element we want to insert in a set so s dot insert value i have inserted the same value in the multi set so that we can compare that what's that which point the output is different so i have passed the multi set here and pass the same elements 12 32 12 87 and 12 so these four are the helper functions i have made so firstly i have insert in a set so that means i have inserted five elements in a set so what were the five elements uh let's expand one of them so i have inserted five elements in a set and you can see that i have run the code also so i have inserted five elements 12 32 12 87 and 12 but i have inserted 12 three times but it is being inserted one time so this is the output of uh, inserting in a set you can see that the elements are in the sorted form and if we insert same element more than once then it would be inserted only once so then after that i have inserted in multi set so in multi set all the elements i have put in the multi set are there and they are in the sorted order i have put 12 of 3 times and they are there and after that the iterators of the set and multi set are the same uh let's run them again because i was uh, i had written s instead of ms multi set okay so the first element of the set is 12 and the last element is 87 and similarly in the multi set the first element is 12 and last element is 87 using the iterator is same as that of the set s dot begins means the first iterator and ms dot r begin means 
Oh, sorry, it has to be MS. Oh, they are giving the same output. Okay, so R begin means the last element of the set. S dot begins means first element of the set. Similarly, MS dot begins means first element of the multi set, and MS dot R begin means the last element of the multi set. And that we can see here. And after that, the main function uh, is the find function in both set and multi set. So what we have to do is that we just have to declare a, we just have to write a method means it's implemented method so we just need to write s dot find and provide the value which we want to find and it will return an iterator so i find i try to find 12 in both so they both return an iterator so itr1 means iterator where 12 is there in the set and itr2 is iterator where 12 is in the multi set so this s dot set or ms dot find what it returns is that it returns a position where is the 12 but if there is no 12 it will return the end iterator means s dot end or ms dot end so that's why i am checking here that if itr1 is not equals to s dot end means we have found the element in that particular set if it is equals to s dot end means we have not found that element so what we are doing is that we are finding a 12 and then deleting the 12 if it exists similarly in the multi set also we are finding the 12 and deleting okay so you can see that we have deleted the 12 from both set and multi set so 12 have been deleted and from the set and 12 have been deleted from multi set also you can see that multi set was having three occurrences of 12 but we have deleted once and it has deleted one so as uh, ms dot erase will only delete if we are passing just a pointer so it will just delete one element because it will delete the element pointed by this iterator so it has deleted the 12 and this is we have printed the set we can also delete the elements using just providing the value here we have provided the iterator where we want to delete we can also just provide the value where we uh, the value we want to delete from set or multi set but in this case we only use this when we erase when we want to erase all the occurrences of elements so you can say that till this point uh, till this point our set was 32 and 87 and here it was 12 12 32 and 87 now when i deleted 12 as dot erase 12 as 12 was not there in the set so this sentence means it does nothing so when I erase 12 from the multi set, it was already having two occurrences of 12. So erasing the two occurrences, so it erased both of them. So so use this when you want to erase uh, the all occurrences of one element and use this when you want to erase just one occurrence or just two or three occurrences. So if you want to erase two or three occurrences, you can just provide ms dot erase and you can provide two positions just like itr1 and itr2 so in this way you can erase uh, as many occurrences of that element also so this was all about multi set and the differences between set and multi set so now the other thing is that unordered multi set so it's same as that of a set but just a little bit different so let's quickly erased multi set from all the positions and write unordered multi set just the way how they store the elements is different and rest is all the same let's run that in function there is no okay so in a multi set there is no method like r dot begin so we can erase that Okay. Why it's giving the sorted data? Let's copy this and make a new file and try to run in that unordered multi set dot cpp. And let's run this file.
Okay, let's implement it multi set by ourselves and then see unordered multi set. So this function will print the unordered multi set and this function will insert in the multi set. So I have inserted five elements in a multi set. Then I have declared a multi set and inserted some elements in the multi set, unordered multi set and then just print let's just erase all and see from the beginning so let's declare a unordered multi set and with the value of int and let's say it's ms and let's do in place so that we can save our time let's insert some values let's say 87 879 let's insert one or two values more uh, 21 And now let's print that for every element in MS. Let's print that element. Okay, so let's run this. So you can see that I have inserted 12, 879, 21 and 32 in unordered multi set and all of them have been inserted but the order is not the order which we have defined nor it's the sorted way. Let's insert 32 twice so that we can see that it contains duplicate elements also and the that are not sorted. So you can see that 32 has been uh, inserted two times and that's not sorted. So this is how unordered set has been created and all the other things are same as that I have discussed in my in the beginning of the video means if you have to find some elements so let's say or uh, itr1 equals to ms dot find let's say I want to find some elements 32 so what we can check is that if itr1 is not so we can see that if itr equals equals to ms to 10 means that element is not found and we can print that else what we can do is that else we can print the element so let's see that whether to exist in a set or not okay so uh, let's print a end line here okay so 32 has been found in the uh, in unordered multi set so let's find something which is not there so 234 is not there in the unordered multi set so element is not found. So basically all those four sets have the same function. So means if you know how to use the set, you can use any of them. But just it's the use case that uh, whether you want duplicate elements or not, whether you want sorted data or not, it all depends upon your use case. So this was all about this video. I hope you understand all types of set in C++ STL. So meet you in the next video.